Our special wouldn't be complete without paying homage to our Renaissance woman, Erica Mena. To fully understand the evolution of Erica, we've gone back to the archives to find some of our favorite moments and some never before seen footage. I love you guys. Love you. Let's go, darling. Let's go. What the Open that Let's start by rewinding to Love and Hip Hop season two, where we got our very first men a moment. Hola, mamacita chula. I knew Erica was a star as soon as I met her. Something the audience probably doesn't know is the first day Mona and I met Erica Mena, we put her in a scene that very night. I mean, she was sitting with Mona at maybe three in the afternoon, and at seven o'clock she was shooting a scene with Yandy. The cameras came on, and immediately you just knew a star was born. I'm ready to be part of your roster. Okay. So what? I was in the Chris Brown video. So what? I was in the Bevel 50. So what? I was wearing Shotgun with Fabulous. I'm also on an ad campaign all over Times Square. I go one thing. I know how to do is use this mouth. I was, I was selling myself, huh? I was like, who is this firecracker that tracked me down sitting across from me? And what does she want from me? Someone give me a check. I just want to leave. <laughs> Looking back at it, it's like, uh, it makes me cringe a little. But that was a real hustler right there. Like, that started off everything. But sometimes, Erica's hustle didn't always flow. In this never-before-seen moment, things between dollars and his dime piece hit a sour note when Rich gave Olivia Erica's song, and Erica made her voice heard in a different way. No one ever made me feel this way. I lost myself in you from the very first day. Nice song. Yeah, you didn't want it. Now, it's no secret what happened between me and Rich with the whole studio thing. He took my song, and obviously, I had a fit. I'll see you later. That yawn was really a growl. I just disguised it. And what happened behind the scenes was even more dramatic. She went into the hallway and kind of had a nervous breakdown. Really? 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 This is what it's come down to, though? She was yelling, screaming, hitting the walls. Finally, she took off her shoe, grabbed it by the top, and slammed the heel into the wall, making a hole that we had to pay for. What you guys saw was with me yelling in the background. I had walked off, and obviously, Stephanie Gale and Mona come to try to calm me down so that I can go back in and have this conversation. We got something you want to say? You're yeah. with me right now. No, you're, I'm not you're, you're, with you're you. really mind, no, you're mind me. And you're mind me so good to the point that I would have never expected this from you out of everybody. Watching this scene, I'm a dick. I really am. Because you should never use your power over somebody to hurt them. You don't deserve the record. I don't deserve the record. I was so hurt then. Looking back at myself, oh my God. I, I, I had a lot of things to deal with. That breakdown definitely changed a lot because it woke me up to realize you really can't let people get the best of you. It's all good, thank you. Thank you, like you really woke me up. Like reality check, like you can't trust nobody, not even you sleep with. Honestly, Erica, I'm sorry. You should have had that record. Moving on, next scene. <laughs>